Shalom, I'm Rabbi Don Gross, the rabbi and founder of Beit David, America's first vegan shul. A vegan shul means that the same focus and attention that we give to our davening and Torah learning is given to the food that we source and eat. The spiritual and physical health is equally important and indispensable. In this week's Torah portion, Kisavo, many like to focus on the curses that God says that he'll bring upon the Jewish people if we do not listen to his word. However, this is my Bar Mitzvah Parsha, and I take exception to that because there are many, many powerful and beautiful blessings that God will bestow upon us when we listen to his word. In enumerating the blessings, towards the end, right before the curses come on, God says, the nations of the world will see my name upon you and they will fear you. Ki shem Hashem nikra alecha v'yareu mi Mecca. Now, I grew up in a large house, it was a mansion, and uh, if anyone wanted to break in, it would be quite easy because there was a lot of glass and the house was built in 1901. But fortunately, it was very secure. Nonetheless, one morning, we found that the two doors that led to the, that, that there, was, there were two doors in the, uh, to, to get into the house. My father came down in the morning at 6.30 to go to shul, and he found that both doors were wide open, and nothing in the house was touched. Throughout the day, we, we looked to see if anything was taken, but what we did figure, is that somebody scaled the side of the house, pried open a second floor window, walked around, and then exited out through the front doors. When I went to Davin that morning, I went to the table where my tefillin always were, and I saw that my tefillin bag was zipped open, and my head tefillin were unwrapped, and the box was on the table with the head tefillin in this position, halfway out. And what it seemed was that whoever disturbed that then exited the house. I asked my sisters, you know, did you guys mess with my tefillin? And everyone said no. The Gemara asks, what is this name of God that the nations of the world will see and fear you? And it answers, it is the tefillin of the head. That is the name of God that the nations of the world will see on your head and they will fear you. And that's pretty much what happened. The thief or the would-be thief came into the house, walked around, came to the table where my tefillin were, unzipped the bag, opened up only the head tefillin, saw it and bolted out of the house without even taking the time to shut the two doors. So remember, in addition to the curses, which we can avoid just simply by listening to the Word of God, and we can reverse all the curses and turn them into blessing by following the Word of God. So this Shabbos at Beit David will be very special. We look forward to seeing you, and Shabbat Shalom.